Now, I'm not a man with rules, but my one rule when I go to Austin is that you have to go to Lockhart on the way. Lockhart is the barbecue capital of Texas, possibly the barbecue capital of the world. It's got minimum four world-class joints to eat at. And there are a lot of different theories about which one to go to, but for me, it's Smitty's every time. Yum. Lockhart, Texas. I'm gonna eat all your cows, then you're gonna have to start killing all your pigs, then your chickens, then your dogs, and then you're gonna have to smoke a cat. When you're on tour, it's vital that you eat healthfully. Remember, your body is a temple. Take that temple and cram it full of as much fatty brisket as you can get, and you will be well on your way to a healthy tomorrow. As I digest my food, I found myself struck to write a song about the meal in the style of the music I'm to investigate. It helps me to mentally prepare to enter one of the coolest new festivals. Psych Fest. What did I do that? I barbecued that. What did I do that? If you're from a town where there's no music scene for the stuff you're into, start one. That's what the Black Angels did when they started Psych Fest a few years back. It's gotten big enough that this year they're filling an abandoned power plant with slackers, space cowboys, shaggy from Scooby-Doo's, hemp ropes, homemade jewelry, tie-dye, op art, black lights, crushed velvet, uh, scented oils, everything that's just for psychedelic people. You guys are from Austin? That's right, yeah. What's going on inside that power plant? Well, there's one big psychedelic family in there. It is. It's Austin Psych Fest 4 going on right now. When was Psych Fest 1? Psych Fest 1 was in 2008 at a big red barn in North Austin. And we thought that that was going to be our permanent music venue. But the next day after Psych Fest 1, we were done because the owner of the place was like, He's like I don't know about this. We're not doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> How did you guys pick this? And it's setting in port. We saw it from the road. We, yeah, we saw it from so, the road. Yeah, this is where it's gonna be. Yeah. How did you guys first start playing? Well, Alex and I grew up together. We've been friends since I was like 13. He was 11. So it took about 50 members to find the right people. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> sort of made you guys think to start up this festival? Is there a sense that, you know, I feel like there's like a psych music community? Since we've been traveling a lot and, you know, we we get to meet tons of, of amazing artists and a lot of great psychedelic bands that we play with and, and, and tour with and meet and watch and see. And the thing with the psychedelic music is you can add any word on the front of it and it becomes a new genre. Surf psych. <laughs> Bikini psych. There's like just tons of amazing psychedelic bands, and this is our opportunity to, to have them all here and have a, have a party. 
<laughs> Come on, Jones, do an interview. Hey, here with, up, I'm here with sit, Jones. Jones. Sit. I'm here right now with Jones from the Growlers. Jones owns and drives this bus yes, right. and tour manages these guys. We're uh, Jones, and, and who are all y'all guys? My name's Scott. This is Brooks. This is <laughs> so badass. This is Scott. This is Scott. <laughs> Scott's, Scott's brother, Scotty. <laughs> Scott, Scott. Kyle. Kyle. Scott, I'm Scott, Scott Kyle. Kyle. I'm Scott. What? <laughs> what? 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 We will need to not get pulled, not over, get pulled over the California yeah, church a, team. Well, what's, oh. his, what's his name? That's a decoy, dude. Oh, it's got a real name. It's called Lizzie. So Lizzie. Badass. Lizzie. 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 All right, let's yeah. go up inside Lizzie. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. Nice. She ready? Yeah. Yeah. Be gentle with her, man. She ain't no floozy. And what's it today? If he saw this, he'd be fucking psyched. It's not going to work, man. You saw that dud. You ever see Teen Wolf? Yes, and we have done that a lot. It's a genius idea. I don't think it's gonna work though, I got a weird feeling about it. Hold on. He's oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's on my bed! Fire this way! Fire in the hole! No, no, no! Fire in the hole! No, no, no! no. <laughs> Austin Psychfest just got good! Awesome. Are right, you guys going on? Growlers, taking the stage. Cheers, guys. We need to. Very nice to meet you. It was really yeah. nice to meet you. Uh, so happy, Scott, that we both did each other. Yeah, fuck yeah. This is a fucking yeah. real pleasure and a treat. One of my favorite Welcome moments. Welcome on the bus anytime. I'm traveling with you guys. I, yeah, I'm, I can fit. I'm just going to be here. Let's roll, dogs! I, want to talk, I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, Rocky Erickson just because I'm personally kind of obsessed with Rocky <laughs> yeah, Erickson. Yeah. You guys have uh, toured with him. Yes, yes um, we yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Black Angels opened and then we would back him for about 10 songs or so. And is that fun? I mean, like, how, how, how crucial and how fundamental is he to like the psych scene nationally and in, in Austin oh, in particular? Man, I think he's yeah. the king of psychedelic rock. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's thinking, considering 13 four elevators, you know kind of coined the term psychedelic rock, you know. It's, we, we go back and forth and talking about what psychedelic music but might have always been around forever since music was always there. <laughs> Do you guys love being on the road, or do you get tired on the road? Yeah, it's tiring, been, it's getting right? better. It's getting better all the time. It is. You know, you can't get too comfortable. I think you see what happens when people get too comfortable, start to stop being creative. Or you guys travel with uh, merch people, roadie, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. That. yeah now we, we do. Yeah, now we do. Like, we hadn't built the past to. two years, I guess, maybe three. We've been bringing. Yeah. How do you extra pick who, people? How do you pick who comes with you? Actually, this time Hurricane Katrina picked for us. Hurricane Katrina knocked out like. New Orleans and, and Mississippi, and we had a whole influx of people who, to move, that moved here. You guys travel with any one specific character? One Miles guy. Crosby. Yeah. Miles Crosby. Yeah. yeah. Ocean Springs, Mississippi. He can do everything from sound. Um, obviously, he can just fix anything. And very good. He's just such a hard worker. Miles. Um, you guys are an A team, so he's like multiple members of the A team. Yeah, he's Murdoch, and he is uh, <laughs> Mr. T. We've been working together about four years now, and. We go all over together, and I originally met him in Austin when I moved here after Hurricane Katrina. What's your job? Uh, everything. In, a, in an abstract way. Everything. Just everything. Whatever needs to be done, gets done. You do sound, you do uh, repairs. Lights, sometimes, lights. whatever. Any uh, special spots you like stopping at when you're on the road? Yeah, uh, there's, there's, our fans have just become bigger and bigger and really embrace the band, and really nice group of people so just about anywhere we go it's it's could be nice you know how did the show go tonight how do you feel about it i think it i think it went really well a lot of things kept going wrong like mic stands fucking up but the energy felt good
Psychfest is a great example of one band having an idea, and a couple of years later there's a whole community taking part in an amazing independent event. I get so caught up in the whole spirit of the thing that I decide I want to be a roadie for it too. But weirdly I felt out of place. I don't understand. Why can't a roadie wear a child's vest covered in fruit and a sweater with a big pink heart face? Maybe it's something that's going to take a little while to develop. I'll be back next year. But for now, I can hear the siren song of New Orleans calling me. New Orleans, you're calling to me now.